Wow. In today's video, you guys are gonna be amazed by how far your dollar stretches here at Lilac in Country View, all right? Uh, what's up guys? My name is Mike Devlak. I'm a local realtor here in Southern California. And on this channel, I show you guys what it's like to live somewhere in SoCal, all right? In today's video, we are back in the city of Homeland touring the Lilac community of Country View by KB Homes, all right? They got four models here that we're gonna go through. I'm gonna show you guys everything. Uh, so we'll go through those homes. I'm going to hop on a map and show you guys what there is to do around here. We're going to go talk to Tyler in the sales office. All right, he's going to talk about some incentives and various things that they've got going on here as the builder. And of course, I'm going to show you guys these homes. All right, so just to talk about homes a little bit. All right, we've got four models here on this side of town, <laughs> this side of the community, I should say. All right, you can see here, there's still lots of dirt lots. Flew the drone in the air, tons of expansion coming here uh, in this community. So there's a big five acre park going in. It's super close to schools, but I'm gonna get into all that later, all right? But first thing, I wanna go ahead and show you some of these homes. So we're gonna tour these four model homes right here behind me. In this community, you're gonna find homes from a little bit over 1,400 square feet at $479,000, all the way up to just over 2,600 square feet at $553,000 as a starting price. So no matter how much space you and your family need, this community has got you covered. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into this first one. All right, guys, so right now we are outside of the first model home. This one, for reference, is 15, plan 1556. It's 1,556 square feet, three beds, two and a half baths, starting at $487,000. Let's go into it. All right, so you see right now, all right, we got the, where the sales office is, I always mention this, all right, this is gonna be the garage. It's, you know, it's gonna have a nice garage into there. So that's what the plan looks like. So that's the garage where Tyler's hanging out. All right, when we come in here, a nice little entryway. Check this baby out. All right, so you got the garage right there, right off the uh, the front door. And you walk in. Here we go. You greeted with this kitchen right here with a nice big island. And you got a pantry and cupboards right here. Cabinets, like in the backsplash. There. That's pretty cool. It's a really big island. It's a pretty, pretty cozy spot here. You got a nice living room setup. It flows really nicely. Super nice. You got a spot for your dining table. He's gonna eat. All right, go around the corner here. All right, looks like we got a half bath right here on the downstairs. That's really cool if you guys are hosting people. All right, you got a half bathroom right off the main living area. And you got a closet, storage closet here that goes and kind of under the stairs-ish with some area to hang some stuff. Now right, you can see uh, there's customization here. So if you want to change things up, you can. All right, let's go back out here to the backyard. Yes, they let us in the back. All right, so these come as dirt lots, all right? But I always like to show these for inspiration. All right, whenever uh, <laughs> I put someone in a new build, they, they kind of, the blank canvas, and if you're not, creative you need some inspiration so some good inspiration for this size backyard pretty good size yard all right one thing i do want, want to mention that i see on the sign all right these houses have great insulation then obviously with the solar as well you guys are saving tons of money all right let's go ahead and head upstairs all right so downstairs was all just living area you walked in you had that kitchen living room dining area half bathroom downstairs Go up the stairs here and boom, this is where we're gonna be living. All right, that looks like the master, I'll save that for last. All right, so you got a, like a towel, linen closet type thing. All right, we'll call this bedroom one. Some standard size bedroom. A closet right there. One thing I always like to point out is when we look on these videos, is to just note the size of the bed and look on the sides of the bed, just so you guys can get a feel for the size of the room. All right, so they got those dresser things or nightstands on the side on each side of the bed. So that kind of just illustrates the size of the room a little bit. Further down the hall here, you got your laundry room. Some cabinets above. Bedroom two, a superhero setup in here. 
This room feels bigger than that first one that I just showed you guys. It right, feels a little bigger. Nice little theme here. The closet, hey. All right, here we go. Uh, we got the bathroom here. I love when these bathrooms have two sinks. You know, I obviously have like a million kids, so when they get ready for school in the morning, it's nice to have them brushing their teeth, washing their face, doing all that stuff with separate sinks. All right, you got the shower tub combo, you got the toilet. All right, let's go ahead and head into the, oh, did I look at this? I don't know if I did or didn't. I showed you that twice, I'm sorry, but you got another linen closet there. Now let's head on into the master and boom. Pretty, I like the setup a lot actually. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know, you know I always complain that they always have this area as like a hole, like usually like that's the hole when it goes in the bathroom. All right, where you can have your TV set up, set up. That's, where, that's where mine's gonna be, <laughs> in this room right there. So I'm liking the flow of this master bedroom. All right, and then you flow right into the master bathroom. So we have the throne room here, throne area, as I like to call it. You got a walk-in closet. Feels a little narrow. All right, but you do have, you know, a his side, her side in here. So I'm, I'll am i do the spin test. I have to shorten my arms up, All right? If you've watched my videos, you know I do the spin test. So I just hit the close <laughs> when I spun. So uh, it is a little narrow, but it is kind of long. So you do have some space on the length way or length side of things. So we got the two sinks there. You got the stand-up shower right there. And this is probably gonna be a linen closet thing. All right. All right, so this one was 1,556 square feet. Whoop. Three beds, two and a half baths, and that one starts at $487,000. All right, let's go see the second model. All right, guys, so before we dive into the other houses, I did want to show you guys kind of just what there is to do around this area. All right, like you've seen the drone shots, it kind of looks like it's far away from things. So let's dive into the map, show you where we are, show you what like, cool things you do around here, and then we'll back to our tour. Let's dive into the map. Guys, so you will see that we, all right, so we are right here. All right, KB Home Lilac at Country View. So zoom out from there. You'll see, I already talked about the Marion B. Ashley Center, which is that park that you just saw right there, a Heritage High on the corner right here. And you're super close, you can see that here to an Arco. Let me just pull the, the layers up to kind of see the overlay of the map. All right, and this is, this is an old view, because I'll tell you right now, so I obviously live in this neighborhood, right? This is all built out already. This whole area is already built out. So we're over, doo -doo -doo. we're over in this area. You get the high school here. All right, you get the quick access to the 215 freeway right here. There's some shopping along the way. You see it over here. We're gonna have a, a Home Depot. There's some other restaurants. There's a, a Winco for shopping, Starbucks, Carl's Jr., 7-Eleven gas station, all that good stuff. Remember, that's probably not where you're gonna do majority of your shopping. You're gonna wanna go down into Menifee probably for a majority of the shopping. So once again, see the high school there. So that we are right in this little neighborhood up here where it's all dirt. <laughs> okay, we're in this little dirt patch. That's where we're standing now. But you can see, all right, this is the, where are we at? Where, oh my gosh. There we go. Here's the giant shopping center. All right, so you see, obviously, quick access to the 215 freeway. All right, Newport, Dominigoni, Railroad Canyon. It's all the same street. All right, but you got all kinds of shopping here where you got your Best Buy, Target, Lowe's, all kinds of restaurants and stuff like that on this bottom left corner of this little cross. All right, tons and tons of restaurants, BJ's in and out, all kinds of stuff, all right? On this side back here, all right, one of the best restaurants in all of Menifee and probably this whole area, Savage Chef. <laughs> I would have never stopped there if I didn't see all these great reviews online. I went there, best food in the area. So <laughs> really good spot to eat there. This is also a shopping center here <laughs> where it's dirt now on this map. All right, you've got a Raisin Cane's, you got a cool sushi spot. You can eat sushi right there. I think there's a Pology or Blaze Pizza in there. Oh, there's another coffee shop. You got um, LA, I think it's LA Fitness is the gym in there. So all kinds of stuff in here as well. Across this way over here, we're gonna have uh, Texas Roadhouse or some medical buildings. And then also uh, over here is gonna be Chick-fil-A as well. We go further down Newport, all right? All of this is now commercial as well. So you have like an Olive Garden, you have a place called Tacos and Tequila. There's a Wendy's, so Chronic Tacos. There's Starbucks down there, so Pokey Place. So all kinds of stuff built here on Newport as well. Mount San Jacinto, <laughs> Mount San Jacinto College right there. All right, if we wanna go a couple options from here. We're gonna go further down Newport, 
All right, we can get down into, you know, by Lake Elsinore, if you would need to access the 15 freeway. So it's gonna take that same road, Newport turns into Railroad Canyon right here. You got the 15 freeway to go north or south, whether you're going, you know, up toward Corona or down towards San Diego. All right, you obviously have Lake Elsinore as well, a minor league baseball stadium there for um, the San Diego Padres. And so it's good stuff with Lake Elsinore there. Zoom out a little bit further just to show you guys. All right, all the lakes, we got Lake Elsinore, we got Lake Skinner, all right, this is Diamond Valley Lake right here. And then further north, we got Lake Paris, right here, Lake Paris is super cool that you'll see this little island here in the, in the middle. Sometimes we take the boat out there and just go like park on this side and you got like your own little private island to do picnics and stuff like that. So, you know, lots of outdoor activities and lots of hiking trails in this area as well. A lot of people go and they hike. You'll see these little mountains right here. All right, a lot of people come in here and they just do hikes and trails and all that stuff right there. I want to show you guys the mall. All right. So if you're going to go to a mall, you go down into Temecula, you have the Temecula promenade. All right. So that's going to be down here. Where are we at? Did I zoom to the right spot? I thought I did. Yeah, so this is the Temecula Promenade right here. This, so this is the mall. This is about, I don't know, 20, 25, 20 to 30 minutes, just depending on traffic and <laughs> if it's raining or not. I'm filming this, it's raining right now. So, you know, something to keep in mind. So it's about 20, 25 minutes from where we are um, at Lilac right now in the video. All right, so yeah, that's the, probably the closest, I guess, mall to where you would um, where you'd go shopping for things that you don't need or can't get at that shopping center in Menifee. So just some other things to consider when looking over here. All right, so they're building that big park in the neighborhood, but like I said, you have Marion V. Ashley, but you're just looking at Menifee in general, like all these, you know, just from this big, you got parks here. There's a giant park right here as well. You got the golf course. You got two 18 hole golf courses there. You got, more parks here like you guys just see just from this view you can see all kinds of parks for kids and stuff like that so lots of shopping and all kinds of stuff uh you know within a reasonable drive so anyways hopefully <laughs> that showed you something anyways let's go back to the video. all righty so right now we are outside of the second model here this one is 1858 square feet we got three to four beds, two and a half bath, option for a loft. All right, so that usually means that's where the fourth bedroom is. It's either gonna be three bedrooms and a loft or four bedrooms, no loft, your call. I love the loft, so if you can deal with the three bedrooms, I would do that. All right, and this one is starting at 506,000. This is nice real quick. I'll show you guys this landscaping. All right, some people get tripped out when they move out here. Like this is how a lot of the landscaping is in some of these areas, especially these new builds. All right. There's very low maintenance on the yards. They got those drip sprinkler systems. You don't have to mow grass or anything like that. Get these things trimmed like once or twice a year. All right, walk up here real quick. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna show you one more thing. <laughs> Check out these views before heading to the house. All right. I know there's gonna be a house there across the way eventually, but whoever lives in, in those lots right there that are gonna be built is gonna have an amazing view of the valley down there. All right, and the sun sets that direction too. It's gonna be sweet. All right, so like I said, this one is plan 1858. Walk on into this. Boom, there we go. I like how this feels as we walk in. Nice little seating area, or mud, I guess you call it a mud area in some parts of the country. And we've got the half bathroom right off the entry. The half bath, stairs to go up. And she has a little glimpse of the living area before we check out this closet, a little storage closet as we walk into. And we walk in here and just opens up all right, so you got the living room right there, dining spot, and then you got this kitchen with, I'm not going to call it an L-shaped counter, but lots of counter space here. All right, so no island like some of the other, you know, builds that we see. All right, but this is still like a, I don't know, I feel like it's pretty cool for like parties and stuff like, I don't know, like just, you can still like, it still has an island feel, but you're in the kitchen. It's, I don't know, I, I think it's pretty sweet. So I could really see myself here, just chips and dip right here, eat, well, you know, guacamole, salsa, all that good stuff right here, you know, with family and friends in this kitchen. So I like this setup, despite it being a little, little different than most of the new builds we see. So lots and lots of counter space. You got tons of cabinets as well. Got your appliances. I always point out where my Keurig would go. My coffee shop right there. And I got a pantry right there. And then we got, uh, garage is usually locked, but yeah, garage is right there off the kitchen. And right, before we head upstairs, let me go ahead and show you guys the backyard on this one, just for some more inspiration. Let you guys see what it's all about. This wall down. Um, to me, that wall is kind of different. Maybe they're planning on building a fire pit or something. Anyways, 
to each his own. Cool little setup back here. All right, let's head upstairs, show you guys where you're gonna sleep. The rails. All right, so to the left here, we're gonna have our loft area. Now remember, this could be a fourth bedroom from what they said. I personally am a huge fan of the loft. Making us a man cave, kids play area, whatever. Oh, that's a cool idea. Bring in your kids apart from school. That's pretty dope. All right, so pretty nice little area. I'm out of shape. Hopefully my microphone doesn't catch catch me breathing while I walk up this. All right, well, their stuff. I think it says, uh, hmm, play all day, maybe? I don't know. All right, so off the top of the stairs, you've got oh, the laundry room right here. That's a decent space there. I'm gonna have a little linen closet. All right, then we got bedroom number one. A little doggy setup here. That's cool wallpaper. That's pretty cool. All right, so really good sized room here. Closet is probably a little bit, maybe on the smaller side, but I do like this little like ledge reading nook area. I mean, put like a little padded thing there and sit and read and look out the window at those freaking amazing views. All right, let's head on into bathroom. Here's the bathroom upstairs, the first, I guess, full bathroom. You got one sink, shower tub combo, toilet, just pretty standard bathroom. All right, head into bedroom two. All right, this one's the one that's set up as a nursery. All right, these kind of trip me out because this, I mean, this feels kind of small, but it's probably an optical illusion because of the size of the crib. All right, but that's a massive closet for a secondary bedroom. You know, it's not like an actual walk-in. Like, you got pretty good length here. Like, we're probably spreading my arms here. Like, I don't know, it's probably like not eight or nine feet long. It's pretty deep. You got some like, floor space in there too. It's not like just butted up against, you know, they can hang stuff. All right, cool, cool little setup there. All right, as we head toward the master, we got another closet. Right before, and then head to the master. This thing is wide super wide you get the entrance to the master bathroom over there right but very big cozy feel here in this the way they have this thing set up this bed's pretty big too so lots and lots of space on the side Ooh, liking that floor a little bit all right so you got the two sinks big mirror that's a lot of storage space there you have the stand-up shower you're gonna have a little throne room right here And then a, wow, pretty good sized walk-in closet, all right? <laughs> I think I can actually do the spin test in this one. Yep, uh, a little bit on the corner, there's a little weird shape to it, but there's tons of space in here. All right, recap this one. So this is our second model. All right, we've got 1,858 square feet. We have the three or four bedrooms. Like if you want that to be a bedroom instead of loft, totally on you, but I really love these lofts. And this one starts at 506,000 bucks. Before we head into the third one, we're gonna go talk to Tyler in the sales office and hear everything they have to say about all the incentives in this community. All right guys, so I'm in the sales office with Tyler here. So we've already seen two of the houses. I'm gonna put this down. All right, Tyler is gonna talk to us a little bit about the cool things about buying a new home, all the cool stuff about this community. Truthfully guys, we filmed this like 20 minutes ago. We, we did a first take and I was amateur hour, my mic died and then I filmed again and like the freaking phone died. So anyways. <laughs> This is short. We had a nice seven minute one for you guys with lots of information. But anyways, all right. What's up, Tyler? Yes. <laughs> so let's do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. So tell us a little bit, just know your HOA taxes, all that good stuff yeah. that these people, you know, would need to know. They're watching that YouTube right now and they're, I don't know, laying in their bed, on the computer screen, wherever they are, on the throne, yeah. <laughs> doing their thing, watching us. What do they need to know about this community? Yeah, so as you probably told, we're in Homeland, right above Menifee, which is number six, boomtown in the nation. Um, so it's a short drive away. So this community in Homeland, um, it's being developed. The area around it's being developed. We've got a 1.74 tax rate, which is a little bit lower than some of the neighboring new build communities, which that's a good plus. We have no HOA. So that's, you know, a big perk for a lot of people these days. Nice, okay. Yeah. And then I guess a little bit talk about um, the community. So I see that, you know, looks like you're building a, a five acre park. I, I think I saw we yeah. flew the drone up or close to some schools. Um, I guess talk a little bit about the businesses that's kind of growing or coming up around here, the uh, 
I don't know, the retail shops yeah. and gas stations and that sort of thing. Yeah, so we are building a five acre park like you mentioned. It's gonna have a baseball field, soccer field, playgrounds, um, walking paths going throughout the neighborhood, which is really nice. And then right outside this community in the next five years is what we're telling people. Um, that's when you're going to start to see the shopping centers, gas stations, the, the fast food restaurants. So it's a good time to, to join it, to, to jump in here yes. and build some equity. I know you, before yeah. we got here, you were telling me a story about someone you just gave keys to who gained a bunch of equity. And yeah, to wait. a couple days ago, we gave their keys to them. They signed their contract, uh, bought their house about six, seven months ago, waited for it to be built. And then as we gave them their keys a couple days ago, they already have $30,000 in equity. So. Wow. And that's while still doing that, while doing nothing, yeah, yeah right. Before so they moved in, thirty k, you know, waiting yeah. for their home to be built, they're making money, which is huge for especially first time home buyers that awesome. may not realize that. So Sweet. that's kind of encouraging. Get into the new communities before the area is all developed and the community is done, yeah, because that's when you start to see the home values rise. Sweet. And then I guess one last thing, I guess just touch on buying new versus buying. Recently. Yes, love it. So that's what we tell everybody that comes to the door. It's kind of the difference between buying a used, or a used home or a new home. The perks of buying a new home is you know everything that's going to be in the house. You're not going to have the used home problems. You know, if you buy a 30 year old home, it might be a little bit cheaper, lower taxes or something, but it comes with 30 year old problems as well. Me being a home inspector for four years before yep. this job, it's also, I know that, you know, roofs need to be done within mm -hmm. 30 to 40 years. The AC is going to go out. For sure. No matter if it's Especially out here where it gets to be super hot and it's yeah. constantly running. Exactly. And just the utility costs with a brand new home. I mean, you're looking at a bill of next to zero dollars yeah. every single month because the insulation that we provide in the walls, the attic, the brand new high efficient, you know, energy systems that we use with the heat and air and all the appliances are brand new. So it's just a no brainer if you're thinking about it. But yeah, the that's pretty much it, you know. And then as far as like add-ons, right? I know KB's Kate, Kate, a little, I guess, more accommodating for people who want to add things on and do customizations and stuff like that. So talk a little about that too. Yeah, so not a lot of builders are offering this anymore, but that is kind of how we stand apart from our competition is we still allow you to add some structural elements to the house. So if you want to add the patio cover, if you want to turn the den into a fifth bedroom, you have those options with us, not to mention the personalization. So. Instead of buying, you know, at top dollar, a brand new home down the street, you get in, you know, it comes with their cabinets, the flooring that you may not love, yeah. but it's, it's a move-in ready house, yeah. right? So with us, you do get to personalize, pick the cabinets, the flooring, the lighting. You get to go to our design studio and you're gonna have a personalized consultant that's gonna walk you through That's the fun the part. Process. I know Absolutely. everyone likes to design and, and yeah. <laughs> build, build their custom like, house. We partner with you to build your home, yeah. right? So, you're gonna get the construction superintendent, the studio design consultant. You'll get me to help you find the right spot, the right house that's gonna fit you and your needs. And then not to mention, after you get your keys, I touched on it before, the customer service representative. So after you move into your home, you get a 10 year limited warranty with it and that customer service representative that's literally pretty much lives in the area. Patrolling, yeah, patrolling yeah. the area, basically. I mean, yeah. if your your address light goes out above yeah. the garage, he will come swap that light bulb like that for nice. you. So it's not a big deal at all. Very, very cool. And then one thing that he mentioned, the, the porches out here, and I, I talk about it in the videos. Those of you who aren't from this area, the weather gets extreme. We're talking 110 in the summer, talking like, I think we kids school this morning, it's frozen, the windshield's yeah. frozen. So no, that porch is a big deal come summertime. So yeah, yeah. anyways, cool. patio coverage. Tyler, yeah. thank you so yes, much. Absolutely. All right, guys. Thank you, man. Yep, absolutely, we're gonna get on to our third, all righty, so hopefully you guys got some value from that information when we chatted with Tyler, but let's continue our tour, all right? So right now we're in front of our third model. It's model 2305, which means it's 2,305 square feet. We got four to five bedrooms with a loft option there. This one starts at $537,000. First thing I'm gonna point out, there's not a lot of front yard space in this model. It kind of just goes, and look, if you look on the side, it's got a giant footprint. All right, so just a, just a huge house. Some people don't like this little side entrance, so just keep that in mind that the entrance is the entrance is up this little side of the house walkway thing. All right, some people are turned off by that. That's you, I get it. All right, well, let's walk in and see what we got. All right, that is a pretty large living area there. But we're gonna start off to the left. I'll tease you guys before I dive into it. All right, so we got, right as we opened the door, we had a storage closet. All right, storage closet. Looks like we had a bedroom down here, get that in a second. Oh, this is a full bathroom. All right, so you get the shower, kind of a... Hung tie, regular old shower. All right, we got 
I guess this is considered a bedroom. Guys, this, this feels really, I'm just gonna be real with you. I gotta keep it real. This feels really small. Now this is great the way they got it set up as an office, right? Like I would do this all day set up as an office. To me, it feels a little small to be a bedroom. I don't know, just good for that. All right, so let's walk into the living area. All right, so this was to the right as we walked in. This is cool. This is like very, very open floor plan. It is a little weird to me with the dining table being like right here as you enter the house, but this is really, really cool. All right, I got the living room, a nice cozy setup there. We got the, the windows looking into that backyard. A really cool setup there. Big kitchen, good size island. All right, lots of cabinet space back here. I'm liking the color of those cabinets too. Nice. All right, and then you got over here. So this, this is the coffee side. Right here, I got a, ooh, a walk-in pantry. Now this is good use. Good use of this thing right here. Lots of space for a pantry. A lot of these under the stairs things aren't by the kitchen, so they use them as a storage, but that's really cool. Ooh, we get to see the garage. All right, this is what the garage looks like. A lot of these builders use these as storage, obviously, because they got a lot of different things going on. Let's see the backyard. Ooh, covered patio. We've got to have that out here. All right, if some builders don't offer that, but if you guys can get the covered patio, I highly recommend it. If you're not from this area, the weather gets a little bit extreme as far as like the heat goes. So if you're in the summer, like it can get to like, you know, 110-ish and you have no covered patio. Like I would recommend putting a fan up here too. All right, but you want a little space to stay shaded so you can still, you know, live outside a little bit. But anyways, so just inspiration from the backyard again. Pretty cool setup. Go back in here. I think I walked through a spider web. Let's head upstairs. Kind of digging the downstairs space. That's pretty cool. All right, head on up. I almost just tripped. Oh. <laughs> Maybe the camera shook. All right, so up here, we got the loft right there. Again, that's going to be an extra bedroom if you don't like this loft area. But I love the lofts. All right, second living area, man cave. Could set up a home. I've seen people set this up as like a home office area, kids' playroom. However, you want to set it up, just extra space to have fun. Oh, there we go. Loft or bedroom five for your choice. Head down this hall. All right, with the laundry room right here. Oh, we got a sink there. That's pretty cool. No laundry rooms have that sink. That's nice. All right, we'll call this bedroom two. This one feels like a normal size bedroom. A little ledge there. Sit and read or look out the window. Those amazing views again. Really good size closet. For a secondary room, you don't actually like walk into it. Looks like they're planning on having someone have their dog live in the closet or sleep in a closet at least. All right, then we got bathroom up here. Once again, two sinks with multiple kids. That's beautiful in the mornings. Got the toilet, shower tub combo. I'm digging that floor too. I'm tucked back. This is tucked in the back corner here a little bit. So what is this? This is bedroom three? Question mark. <laughs> All right, so we got, I don't know what kind of, what do you call this? Like a camping thing, Indian thing? I got a teepee looking thing there. I got the wilderness thing maybe, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool setup. Pretty decent sized secondary bedroom. All right, then off the bedroom here, we have a, another linen closet. Let's head on into the master. The master is right off of the loft. It's separated from the other rooms, which is cool. Oh, we got a nice little, area right here as we enter here and then here's the master this is really big so this one feels very long and wide right? <laughs> so got really good size on this one Turn it around the layout is right up my alley and right, looks like we're gonna have a closet over here I just got a walk-in closet Lots of space in here. We'll do the spin test again. Oh, <laughs> fail. All right, so we'll go in here. It was a good closet. My arms are just super long. All right, so we'll walk into the bathroom. Right, you got the shower, you got the two sinks. You've got the throne area. And it looks like we're gonna have a linen closet thing there. Alrighty, so this was our third model. Really, I mean, I really like that downstairs area. You got the bedroom. This is the old, you know, first one that we've seen said it has a bedroom downstairs and then more upstairs. So I thought that was pretty cool. But anyways, we've got 
Just to recap, this one right here was 2,305 square feet. We had four to five bedrooms, depending on what you use, a loft, three baths, and it starts at 537. Let's go check out this last house. All right, guys, we've made it to the end. This is our fourth and final model tour of the video. All right, this one is 2,613 square feet, starting at $553,000. We got four to five bedrooms, two and a half to three and a half baths, depending how you get things set up. Yeah, so let's go ahead and check this baby out. All right, so just like the house that we saw a second ago, this kind of comes out, not a lot of front yard space, but you got a pretty deep footprint the house there you got kind of a smaller porch as we walk up here all right let's see what we got so off to the left here you're gonna have the garage access right there and you got half bathroom at the front of the house guys that's those are amazing especially off the garage like i don't know about i don't know about you guys have you guys ever been driving and then like you go get groceries or just anywhere with your kids and they just have to go to the bathroom and they can't hold it well guess what now they can just run in either from the front door or through the garage Boom, half bath, do their business and get about their day. <laughs> I like that. Anyways, all right, let's go back to the tour. All right, so we got the stairs there. Gonna go into that living area in a sec. But first, <laughs> we got like a walk-in storage closet under the stairs. That is unique. Oh, kids movie theater, there we go. We got one. I think that was the first one today where we had the kids movie theater. If you watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so we walk in here. We've got really cool, like I'm, I'm digging the living areas here. This is just flows so nicely. All right, so we got the kitchen. Ooh, I like this black back. That's a tongue twister. Black back backsplash. That really remember that thing. All right, cool. We got lots of cabinet space, counters, huge island. Bar stools underneath there. I'm liking those little chandelier. Nice sink as well. This is, they did this one good. There's my copy station. All right, we got pantry. We got the little dining area right there. And it's just the way this is set up. You know, again, you can just be sitting here chilling, eating at the island, watching TV. Really cool setup. And then whoever's cooking, right? They got TV access, they got backyard access right here. They can check things out. All these backyards that they've got look very similar. All right, but just for inspiration. There you go, there you have it. I did see a bedroom, it looked like, around the corner over here, so. You got the door to separate, the little bedroom area from this. And this is like a secondary little side suite thing. This is cool. Really cool setup. It feels skinny and narrow, right? But it's got a nice little setup to it, and then you got like a little area for like a workstation there. This is kind of like a good spot for like a, I don't know, a teenager or something, or maybe, I don't know. This, this could actually be a really good office too. Like for me, like, right, I do, I shoot lots of content and videos. I work from home. Like this would be a sick office for me because I've got like a desk area. I could set this up as like a studio or any, like, I don't know. Hopefully you guys can see the vision that, that I've got for this thing. And then you also got bathroom in here. This is like a really cool home office type thing. You got cabinets there. It's very homey. Like this is a really good home office situation. If you ask me or bedroom, whatever you want. Oh, there we go. This is what we got here. This is how it could be versus how it is. Pause it here if you want to read that. All right, but let's go ahead and head upstairs. Head upstairs. Oh, we got a nice loft up here. Ooh, I'm liking that entertainment center thing. Very cool setup here for the loft. See, and some of the other ones we saw were kind of like secluded lofts and kind of tucked away. This is like the center of upstairs, almost like a second living room. Right, as we come up here, boom, it's just like a... All right, off to the right of the stairs, we're gonna have a giant laundry room. Pretty cool. Right, let's go see what this little closet leads to. Whoop, cool. I'll save the master for last. We got the bathroom up here. Two sinks. Bathroom, my toilet is shower tub combo. Across here, we're gonna have what we're gonna call bedroom two. We'll set up here. This one feels pretty standard, maybe a tad bigger than a standard size bedroom. And we've got kind of a little walk-in closet. Lots of space, a little closet with a window. Make sure that thing's closed if we're 
change the closet. All right, so we got bedroom two is across the way. Pretty standard size bedroom. I like those curtains. I like the, uh, what's it called? Is that called an ombre or a gradient? I don't know. I'm trying to use, I think ombre is like a hair term. My sister's a hairstylist, so hopefully I use that right. But I know in like the graphic design world, it's like a gradient. Anyways, all right, closet there. Ooh, a baseball room. All righty. You guys know me, I'm a baseball dude. Baseball is the family business. All right, so we got, I don't know why I'm showing you the bats. <laughs> like you care. All right, here we go. So we got the bedroom, really good, really wide, honestly. So pretty good sized bedroom here. All right, we got the closet. I'll get you guys out of, out of the baseball stuff because you definitely don't care the same way I do. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we got the master. All right, walking, oh my gosh, this is big. This almost feels like a hotel room. Like, you know the hotel room where you have a couch, or couch area in there? It's kind of feels big like that. Little seating area they got next to the bed. So lots of space in here. I'm liking the windows on each side of the bed. And then you got a, what looks like a really big master bathroom. All right, so you got the two sinks, you got the tub, you got a shower, you got the throne area with the privacy door. There we go. And then you got this walk-in closet. Super big closet. I'm gonna start at the other end of this. That's far away. So you got yeah, his side and her side. I'm gonna guess this is the his side because there's less uh, hanging space over here. Oh, once again, you got a closet with a mirror, or a mirror, a window. Anyway, so that was our final house that we're touring of this one. Uh, just to recap, we've got 2,613 square feet, four to five bedrooms, depending what you wanna do with things, all right? Then we got uh, starting at $553,000. I will see you guys outside. All right, so go figure. We wrap up the tours and now the sky, <laughs> the sky opens up, it's starting to rain. So real quick, we did tour these four amazing floor plans, but that's not the only floor plans that they've got here at Lilac, all right? So we got floor plans starting at a little bit over 1,400 square feet at 479,000. We did not tour that one. All right, we did tour the biggest model they had there, the one we just saw on that fourth tour, 2,613 square feet starting at 550. $3,000. So hopefully I was able to provide you guys with some good value today. We obviously toured these houses, showed you guys what there is to do around here. We talked to Tyler in the sales office where he gave you guys some good nuggets and some good info about, you know, buying a new home versus like, you know, regular retail resale type homes. So some good info there. I got rain dropping on my sunglasses now, but real quick, I just wanted to touch on the relationships we have with the salespeople at these builders, the relationships that I built. I take pride in, you know, being a people person. There are homes out here, right? These houses on the Dirt right now you buy it six to nine months you get a house all right when you have relationships with the salespeople like I do with Tyler and the other salespeople at these new build communities throughout Southern California we get like information for like, like pocket listings basically some of these people they fall out of escrow on these houses they can't do it they change their minds whatever all right people like Tyler call agents like me who have those relationships say hey Mike do you have a buyer for whatever whatever and those are quick movements like 30 day move-ins versus six to nine months so if you guys are interested you want an agent like that to build those relationships um, or you just want to tour some of these houses in this community go ahead and reach out my contact information is down below in the description all right, also go ahead and do all the stuff like subscribe tap the notification bell i'm touring neighborhoods communities like this all the time trying to show you guys what it's like to live somewhere in socal so if this was your somewhere go ahead and reach out if it wasn't your somewhere that's fine. If you vibe with me, still reach out. We'll help you guys find your somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this baby up. Over here, we got YouTube is gonna recommend a video that they think you'll like of mine. Over this shoulder, I'm gonna go ahead and put a playlist of new builds. All right, a tour playlist. All right, so if you like this video and you like looking at new builds and touring those types of communities, click this and I'll see you over there. Later.